And we're back with more of the Pope on Film. Money. Yes. Are you ready for another exciting, pulse pounding, booty shaking installment of everyone's favorite podcast segment, Bunny Versus? Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you amped? Are you jazzed? Are you psyched? Are you primed? You're not getting on my computer, cat. Okay? You've turned off the podcast once. That is one too many. If you want to lay down, that's fine. You're not getting on the computer. Okay? You are not getting on this computer. Pissing me off. Are you ready, Bonnie? I am ready. Okay, then. Without any further ado, it's time once again for Bunny Versus. And now here is your host, Bunny Williams. Take it away, Bunny. Oh, fuck you too, YouTube. What we, happened? You may have used copyrighted information. Oh, fuck you. Gotcha. I look really good on the TV. Oh. Yeah. What, what glasses are those? I don't know. I found them in Emerald's room. Yeah. But Emerald's not here. Emerald is still with Jeremy. So these are my glasses until Emerald comes back. They're catching a lot more reflection than your, your blue ones do. Yeah. These ones are these ones are good. I'm going for an Elton John type of a thing. Like if you came really really close, we could probably see your screen in your glasses. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't so exactly tell what you're looking at. Over here, I've got uh, Zoom, and then over here, I've got the. Uh, or is that Zoom? And yeah, okay, so this over here is Zoom, and then this over here is YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're very reflective. So I'll look down when I'm staring at porn. And it, and it also helped me get a better look at the glasses, because like normally I could barely see I'm old. And, and that is a style, that is a style that I like a lot. Yeah, they're like butterflies. The kind of aviator types. Yeah. You know, so, I would I would prefer a darker gradient. Yeah. But, but I still but I still like them. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow, my hair looks a lot greener on TV. On YouTube. <laughs> That's good. Bunny, before we begin, I wanted to mention something on Bunny Versus. Yes. Okay. So on June 29th, 2021, the year of our Lord, 2021, Stephen King, the author, yes, tweeted the following, quote, what is the worst horror film you ever saw? For me... It's Blood Feast. Okay. First off, fuck you, Stephen King. <laughs> Secondly, there are films based on your work that are worse than Blood Feast. Yes. This is true. Secondly, I have seen films that are worse than Blood Feast. Oh my God, what was the name of that horrible movie where the all of the appliances came to life? Maximum Overdrive. Yes. Now, horrible movie. Who directed that? I don't know. Some cokehead with a drinking problem. <laughs> oh, wait. It was you, Stephen King. So you can fuck right off. Yeah, I... I, I... Blood Feast, Blood Feast is what it is, and it serves its own purpose in its own little niche, which is basically gore porn. Yeah. And that's all, you know, we don't really care about the backstory of the pizza delivery boy. 
okay? Yeah. Just that it's a really nice thick Sicilian. Yeah. You know, that's all we care about. We don't really care about the goddess Ishtar. You yeah. know, we well, want to see somebody squish a cow liver with with fake blood poured all over it. Well, Larry, in looks close like up. it's going to be another long, hard one. Yes. <laughs> of that line. And then you see the bad guy get squished to death in a trash compactor and there's blood and guts everywhere and then you just now see this is how i knew this was going to happen let's 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 not react to the man we saw crushed to death in a trash compactor no let's just do the exposition and wrap this film yes with no emotion whatsoever as to the horrible thing we just witnessed yes Yes, Someone indeed. was crushed in front of us. Interesting. Anyway, see you later, Larry. <laughs> I gotta go. It's bowling night. But yeah, there, there have been Stephen King films that were worse than Blood Feast. That just pissed me off. Stephen that just King, off. But, but like I can give him a little bit of a pass because he's just turned into such... He turned into exactly what we should have known he would turn into. He turned yeah. into a curmudgeon old guy from Maine. Yeah. yeah. That's who he is. Stephen King has become, what was his name? Judd Crandall from Pet Cemetery? Yeah. Played by yeah. Fred Gwynn? That's yeah. Stephen King now. Yeah, that, that's, a good, that's a good explanation that's, of modern. That's who he is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good explanation of present day Stephen King. Yeah. Uh, Stephen King is the only who knows everything's who knows what's up in every horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. You stay away from that old Willow's place. <laughs> Some people say it's haunted. It all started in nineteen oh two. Yeah. That's Stephen King now. I haven't read a Stephen King in a book in a really long time. Uh, like a new one. I mean, I've reread some yeah. old shit. But uh, the I, last, I don't know. The I, last... I, there's always been periods with me and Stephen King where I love him or I really don't. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like coming off of Cujo and coming into like Dolores Claiborne, Gerald's Game, things like that. I I kind of tuned out all through yeah. there. Yeah. And then um What was it? Rose Matter? Yeah. I came back with Rose Matter, Insomnia, a couple of others right there that were pretty good. Yeah. And don't even mention the fucking gunslinger. Nope. I, it, I, I can't. I can't in good conscience like a book series where halfway through the series, the author is hit by a car and then adds that to the story he's writing. Yes. Who does that? A, a madman does that. A crazy person does that. That is insanity, is what that is. That's and, crazy talk. And then, oh, wait, you mean, so this series that I have been following for like, I don't know, 20, 30 fucking years? Yeah. And the First book I read, The Gunslinger, that that's actually no longer valid because you rewrote it and re fucking released it, and it's really not quite the same story anymore. Really? Yeah, the Steve, Stephen King did for the literary world what uh, George Lucas did. 
for the cinematic world where, hey, I wrote this book and now it's what, like 10, 15 years later? I'm going to fucking redo it. Yeah. Special effects. Yeah. New scenes. Take some things out, put some things in. Here you go. Here's the book uh, version 2.0. The problem here with Stephen King is that Stephen King is a genius writer. And a genius writer can hold your interest even when you're pretty much reading shit. Yeah. I, I would just like him to prove that a little less. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, uh... I... This week's movie is a big movie. Um... Why the fuck was it dedicated to one of the Ramones? And, and, and... And was it actually because like man that I just didn't listen to or something? I mean, I I didn't actually look it up. I mean, but it would be around when Johnny died. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, because at the same time, like it could be a stunt man, like Johnny Ramone, or was it Joey? I think it was Johnny, right? I don't know that it was dedicated to. I don't know. I thought it was Joey Ramone. Well, it could be. It was, you know, they're, they're kind of interchangeable. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's not like a terribly uncommon name, so it could have been a stunt man. Okay. It could have been. There you go. Okay. I, I saw. I found it on IMDb. This film is dedicated to late musician Johnny Ramone, who introduced Nicolas Cage to Robin Hardy's original film, The Wicker Man, from 1973. <laughs> okay, so that's an admission that Nicolas Cage saw and is aware of the original Wicker Man. Yeah. And still did this. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Other than that, I really don't have a hell of a lot to say. I really, uh, I'm, I'm <coughs> putting a lot of projects on a shelf for a little while, and the rest of them yeah. I'm going to poke at with a short stick from time to time because, like, I wound up just putting way too pre too much pressure on myself, and I felt myself just kind of freaking out again, you know. So. I want to get the website done, and like that's it for right the second. Dabney can wait; other things can wait, you know. And I'll pick yeah. up the website with a short stick, so that, that we don't have to worry about so much of this bullshit, you know. Like, like I would like to, I would like to have our show live under the actual copyright laws of the country. That yeah. would be cool. Okay. That would be nice. However. Where I can use a trailer for the film yeah. Nobody because it's a promotional material. Yeah. Where I can use other things and we barely, barely use anything from any, you know? If yeah. anything, it's something that, that I got off of somebody else, like Tim or Liz or something like that. Or it's the trailer. Yeah. But who fucking needs this? You know, I mean, who needs to be worried about their... We can't even really bother actually looking at what the problem may be to decide if it's an actual problem or not. We're just going to let the algorithm say no. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even a person looking through these things. It's just a, it's a bot. And then it's so, on, then it's on you to fight it. Well, yeah. I haven't, I haven't fought any of them. That's why my channel is completely, the channel we're going out on right now is completely and totally non, non demonetized. Yeah. 
which is what which is what YouTube did. Well, okay, you know, no problem. Uh, um, I was Bella never was using shocked. YouTube to try to fucking make money anyway, man. You know? Bella was I shocked yesterday. To throw up my stuff. Bella was shocked yesterday when I told them how many views our episode on Kill Bill One and Two has gotten. Oh yeah, it's 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 over a million. I I don't know how how many exactly. <sighs> yeah, but it's not because people are big fans of the podcast. It's because uh, <laughs> they think it's an actual Quentin Tarantino movie. Well, they they, they because they start. I I I I love that fucking thing. I love that fucking thing. I, you know, if the YouTube channel got deleted, yeah. it would be it would be the Kill Bill thread that I miss the most because these are a pack of fucking morons who think it's yeah. the actual movie, and instead of actually, first off, instead of hey, I clicked on the wrong link and move on. No, we're they gonna need blame. To, they need yeah. to stop and comment, yeah. and then that comment helps the algorithm. <sighs> yeah, and then once it's, one person yeah. comments, then a bunch of people comment, and I start getting comments in Hindi, and I start getting comments in Japanese, and I all over the world, yeah. all over the world, the Kill Bill episode posted on YouTube. Search for it. Over a million views built on hate. Hate and rage <laughs> are the key ingredients to the success of that video. Yeah, so we should start saying the Pope on Film podcast. Over a million viewers on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, notice we're saying viewers and not fans. No. No. Over a million viewers on YouTube have listened. But out of, but out of, that, out of that couple of million, we got a good decent amount of likes as well. Yeah. yeah. You know. There's a lot more dislikes than likes, but hey, we still got likes. But, but, but you know, but, and sometimes I go back at them. I went back at them for, for uh, quite a bit at first because... It was fun. <laughs> funny. And it was just cranking up the views. Um, yeah. But uh but now it's only occasionally that I go up but, but it's like the two questions are are one what the fuck made you think that this was the this was the actual movie? Yeah. Okay. It says it nowhere. It's a podcast. What are we reviewing? Yeah. We're reviewing Kill Bill 1 and 2. We're not allowed to use that title. The title makes perfect sense. Again, yeah. nowhere on there does it say it's the it's the full movie or that it's the movie at all. Yeah. <clears throat> Teapoff number 59, I think it is. That didn't set off some kind of a question in your mind about what that might be? Yeah, no, everyone just thinks that it's the full movie. It's hilarious. And, and what's even fucking funnier, though, dude, is that I posted well over a hundred of those videos. Yeah. That's the only one anybody minds. Yeah. They're all Don't exactly the same. t pop number and the name of the movie we're covering. Yeah. And mostly because it was uh, because how YouTube used to be I don't. I don't see this feature anymore. But you can send an upload directly to a particular playlist. Yeah. So that's the name of one of the playlists. So you have that as a tag at the front, and it automatically goes into the playlist. That's yeah. how it used to be. 
But yes, over over a million over a million views that hate built. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. But the, but the second thing is like, okay, so you clicked the link and the and the, the full the full movie wasn't there. Maybe I don't know. This is a trivial thing. Get on with your fucking life. <laughs> nope, not on YouTube. You know, like, should I stop and bitch every time I'm searching for something on the internet? And the first Absolutely. couple of things I click on have nothing to do with it? Should I stop and bitch at those people? Absolutely. Because, because their site did not turn out to be what I was searching for? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It it almost makes me weep for the nation, the the Kill Bill thread. Yeah, it's great. So and I want to want to get the website done, man, because I am really, really, really excited about the whole roadshow idea. Yeah, it's a cute idea. There is so much we can, like. Like this is this will be absolutely the best bang for the advertising buck. You know, yeah, and it ju- it'll just be like a lot of fun. I think we really need to sit down and think about like what we want to do with this. Like, I want like every segment to at least have some mention of Kent, Ohio, in one way yeah. or the other. You yeah, know? even if we just say Kent, Ohio. Yeah, but God, you know. Can we grab a local restaurant and go through their Yelp reviews? You know? That's a great idea. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't want to intentionally diss a city unless they really deserve it. You know? Yeah. And then we just won't go back. I want to go to the cities randomly somehow. Maybe off of Twitter, maybe off of your Twitter feed, because you you get more responses off of people. Yeah. Uh, have them make suggestions and something, something like that, and then do a poll, and we go to one of them, and you know, if it's a, if it's a decent city, we'll treat them decently, but we'll also have fun reading Yelp reviews and you know, what's the underground scene. I mean, a lot of it we could probably just grab off the the Chamber of Commerce's website as PDF files for research. Yeah. You know? Can we find a wacky person in town and talk to them? Yeah, where's, where's, where's where's the gay scene in Mobile, Alabama? Exactly. Yeah. The red light district of Kent, Ohio. Yeah. So like I I don't want to necessarily insult the city. Well, l- let me not even I don't want to insult the city. Okay. But we still have to have fun with it and we still have to have like our kind of fun and the things that we think are funny. We won't insult the city. We'll just crack wise on the city. <laughs> yeah. We'll just crack mad wise. Yeah. But if we wind up rolling into a city and then and then just for like more technical reasons, like each year I want to start at Kent and then whatever the sixth city, the sixth month, yep. halfway point in the year, whatever city that one is. I want to hit at least those two every year. Nice. Okay. Because theoretically, as you become more familiar, you should, more people should show up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, this is, I I remember seeing this from last year. I maybe (laughs) should check it out this year. And maybe they do, maybe they don't, but they'll think about it every year at least yeah Yeah. and then all the other cities 
they would be kind of up for grabs. I guess it would be how how well did we seem to do in each city if we go back or not. But yeah. I'm really excited about that idea, but I got to get the website fucking done. Yeah. And, like, done enough. You know, if I get one page up doing what I want it to do, which is stream our shit and have a place to chat, I'll call that good. Nice. You know, but... And what really pisses me off about it is Mm. I've done this before. I've written a website like this before. But it was a long time ago, and all the fucking technology has changed now. Yeah. Windows used to have a built-in streaming media server. Nice. And and I, I would put everything in there. It would play like a playlist. And I was able to stream that out. Well, that technology's gone. Yeah. So now I got to figure it out all again. I can get That's a single. Nice. I can get a single video to play. Yeah. But it needs to be a playlist, and then it needs to be a playlist that I can interrupt with the OBS stream. Yeah. So we could send this stream over there, and then the only ones who can cut our feed is like Comcast. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But that's about all I got for now, although I th- I think through with the shaft coming up, I think I might need to Ooh. play break one again. Okay. Briefly. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm so excited for this week's chat. It's a long one. So if so it might be a, a good time to just go potty now. Well, we're not quite done here, but we're definitely wrapping up. I'm wrapped yeah. up with my shit, but how have you been this week besides excited about the chat? Uh good, good, good. I mean uh uh not much to report. I'm going back to the movies, which is exciting. Yeah. My family and I did a bizarre road trip yesterday to yes. a grave. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, 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 my relationship with my wife is pretty good right now. <laughs> we are we are very close together, spending a lot of time together, yeah. and uh, yeah. So things are things are good on my end. How are you, buddy? Uh, I'm okay. That's that's how I've been. You know, I've, it's just the annoyance of having to sign on Facebook again and Facebook lied on me, lied to me, which I find yeah. really suspicious. Yeah. So Facebook tells me that somebody changed my email, my Facebook password and made it a secured site or something like that. That's what they told me. But apparently, yeah. from what you showed me, they told you yes. they deleted me for being abusive. Abusive, yeah. Now, I am sure that if you got that, anybody else that I have chatted to in in Facebook in Facebook Messenger, they probably could see it too. Probably, yeah. And it's like they they they. See, and they were just like, well, if you if we could have your ID, we'll just get this picking, you know, like blah blah blah. Like this they're like stringing me to get my fucking license. Yeah. You know? They're not telling I mean, they could have easily say, We've kicked you off of Facebook. Tough fucking shit. Yeah. You know? That's not what they're doing here. No. So then they want. So then they. Then I. They get my license. And they still say no. Like you know. Uh, maybe if I send it again, I don't know. Like it's rejected, but there's no reason why. 
So maybe it still wasn't clear enough of a shot or something. And frankly, at this point, who fucking cares anymore? Yeah. But then I, then I was like, well, I still have the Pope on film accounts, which I actually set up in Thunderbird so I can watch it easier. Because we might yeah. start using that shit again. Yeah. Uh, so I used the, fo- the Pope on Films email account to create. Now, now here is something else that's fucked up for some reason. What? Because I know other people who have gotten kicked off of Facebook before and they had to come back with a dummy account or a different account or a new account. And generally... <laughs> They flip their names. Like now we have Nobles Bruce. You know? Yeah. And I have my friend uh Bailey Rachel. <laughs> you know. Mr. Lobo was on Facebook as Mr. Lobo, but then they said, No, this is a nickname. We need your full name. You have to be Eric Lobo which is his name, but he was upset about that because he went by Mr. Lobo, so we shut down that account and came back as Alan Smithy. Yes. So now he's Alan Smithy. So I tried to do the same thing because it sounded really logical to me, so I will now be William Bunny. Yeah. And all of my friends will know who I am anyway, and they'll know what the story is, so it's not going to be that big a fucking deal. It would yep. it, Facebook would not accept William Bunny as a legitimate name. Uh, and I'm like, why? I, I bet you we can Google a billion William fucking bunnies. Well, at Should. least a million. Should have gone by Bunford Williams, your God-given Christian name. Yeah, yeah. I, if I would have thought of it, yeah. that would have been awesome. Bunford. Been fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, imagine explaining that. Like, why Bunford? Uh, yeah. Well, my name is actually Steve Williams, but I go by Bunny, and at, at when I'm going as Bunny, I have a nickname that's Bunford. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Come here, cat. Say hi to the podcast, cat. Meow. Yeah, okay. We're starting Go. to need to get into like flow chart territory with that. Well, anyway, I'm back on Facebook, but fuck them anyway. So, yeah. Uh, so let's on get on get on to the shop. Yes. After a very brief intermission. Yes. Uh, so quick, you probably don't want to leave your computers, but you don't want to hear it anyway. Yeah. So until next week, this is Bunny Williams saying self-adhesive tape. Yes, please. So until next week, this has been Bunny Versus, and we'll see you there.